Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. Today our group will be present IKEA Company, presenting our team members. Hi, my name is Nur Nadia Nadira binti Muhammad Nasi. Hi, my name is Intan Nushafrina binti Anwa. Hi, my name is Siti Aisha binti Zaini. Hi, my name is Mama Shahir bin Zayuddin. Hi, I'm Nur Sofia binti Abu Raza. Assalamualaikum and hi, I am Nadia Nadira and I would like to talk about introduction part which is background of IKEA. IKEA is a multinational conglomerate that designs and sells ready to assemble furniture, kitchen appliance and home accessories among other useful goods and occasionally home services. Founded in Sweden in 1943 by 70 years old Ingvar Kamprek, IKEA has been the world's largest furniture retailer since 2008 and have so many franchises all around the world including in Malaysia. Organizational Structure Generally, IKEA organizational structure can be classified as hierarchical, reflecting massive size of the business that integrates 442 IKEA stores in more than 50 markets. Hierarchical organizational structure can be associated with a range of serious shortcomings such as lack of flexibility of the business, poor quality of communication between the seniors, management and employees, and slow speed of decision making. Next, about performance management methods. The first one is checklist and weighted checklist. The manager in this method mainly develops a list of statements of every behavior whether effective are ineffective among the employees. This largely helps the manager to represent the poor or outstanding behavior of the staff members at the workplace. It can also in reducing the bias on the performance and would provide a basis to discuss upon the performance. Second is management by objective. This technique will help the management to define the same objectives clearly and convey the same among the workforce. The management of IKEA will be able to decide specific deadline for the staff members which has to be met by them. The management mainly monitors the employee's performance and discusses the performance with the employees. Third is graphic rating skills. The management of IKEA had adopted this method with the purpose to increase the performance and productivity of the employee along the revenue enhancements. The graphic rating skill allowed the manager to rank the staff members ranging from 1 to 5 based on their behavior and performance at the workplace. This helped in evaluating the performance of the employee effectively. In addition, about reward system. There are two types of reward system which is financial rewards and non-financial rewards. The first one, financial rewards, includes a bonus program which is consistent throughout the whole IKEA groups. When set target are achieved, all managers and employees receive the same percentage of their salary as their bonus. Non-financial rewards. Non-financial rewards are provided both on an individual and on a team level. These individuals also part of the company's reward system in the form of flexible career opportunities and develop within the IKEA groups. Under performance, who do not meet individual objectives or other expectations which is KPI are not penalized but do have a dialogue with their manager to analyze the reason behind their current performance. They will establish a clear action plan together and look for a alternative positive within IKEA which suits them better. Organization policies on general human resources management activities. IKEA's human resources teams are responsible for growing in and inspiring workers and creating a bracing environment in order to favor innovation and dynamism. 
Recruitment and selections are one of the core activities of HR planning, a dynamic procedure and a crucial task for the company's success. The first point is HR management understands the importance of acquiring, engaging and retaining employees and customers in order to grow their business through sustainability. Everything starts with recruiting the right people that share the same values as the company and therefore have a good fit with the organizational culture. The second point is IKEA has a policy of hiring based on values as well as on skills. At IKEA, they recruit by values. It is more about understanding the person whom they are interviewing. They like to understand personal values of a candidate and how this come out in a typical behavior in everyday life. A recruiter likes to listen to the real stuff, like stories, but how they have created togetherness and made things simpler. The HR department of Ikea receives about several CVs every day and almost 200 every month. The policy is Ikea policies is to build a long-term relationship with its employees and help them develop themselves both on the professional but also personal level. Therefore, one of the aspects of recruitment at IKEA is that tend to privilege internal recruitment when the position is available. However, when there is no potential within the body of employees, candidates arrest, and that is where external recruitment comes. Training and development, happy employees, happy customers. Having happy and satisfied employees in a safe and inspirational work spirit is a necessary condition. The first point is training starts from day one and it is revolved the rotation through various of the business and this provides a better understanding of the business and those employees are able to serve their customers more effective. Second point is I just trying to support everybody's talents and develop it within a given job description and in IKEA they can easily grow a great sales manager from a house to co-worker, Okesha can become a restaurant manager. What is more important is an effort to constantly learn new things and take responsibility. The third point is the quick rate of technological change requires regular training of the workforce to remain relevant in the respective rules. Training the workforce enhance skills and knowledge essentials to develop of new products. Organization just a higher performer, invest time and financial resources in educating and training the workforce. The fourth point is IKEA implements professional team development initiatives to encourage the teams to work as a unit. The IKEA's holistic approach to conducting business begins within the pilot's office, yet the strength of the organization is based on respect for people, learning and development. Hi, I'm Intan Shafrina. I will continue with performance appraisal system of IKEA. IKEA operates with a 3-year business plan in place with action set for each year. A follow-up on the action and the degree of achievement on the 3-year goals is done once a year. A more true evaluation is examined after 3 years. The findings said that communicating the business unit strategies in a clear way affects the strategic intake of objectives. Individual performance assessment follows a clear process which is mostly the same on a global level or the whole IKEA group to make transfer between countries and departments easier. There is a performance evaluation done every year in which goals are set for the following year and salary is reviewed in terms of the new goals and individual career development. The current process includes only one follow-up talk a year, but IKEA is working on including the performance evaluation in one-to-one -one talks with co-worker and manager, which are already happening every four to six weeks. This talk can be used to discuss individual objectives and development on a more regular basis. This can help employees to get feedback on their current performance and the expectation of the supervisor in the following weeks. Within IKEA, individual performance evaluation is done by looking at the whole person, not just the employee but also the private person. This is the reason why informal information plays also a role in that process. 
IKEA is setting individual goals using smart criteria in order to have a balance between objectivity and subjectivity due to the more objective evaluation of each employee as an individual no relative performance measurement is done on an individual level every employee is assessed depending on his or her own abilities and capabilities Relative performance evaluation is in the IKEA group and only used on higher level which is in line with the theoretical findings that there is little evidence for the efficiency and effectiveness of relative performance evaluation on a lower managerial level. On a divisional level, managers are expected to follow up on their division goals regularly and assess this within their teams during monthly team meetings. On this level, a relative performance evaluation is done by using a competence review which gives an overview of the team's performance and abilities. On a higher level, it is assessed where high potentials are located. On a global level, a co-worker survey is used as a benchmarking tool between different IKEA companies. This way, best practices can be determined within the company. environment here. It's very relaxed, it's very friendly, fun because uh, it's like a family. Friends, uh, teamwork. The product range is so fantastic. Co-worker this. I like the social outing that we have it for the co-worker. Yeah, ni rasa macam kerja ni bebas. Freedom uh, because we're given flexibility of what we can do. Okay, in IKEA, I think the place that I can grow. Definitely the opportunity. I want to talk about performance management process. There are six steps. One, prerequisite. Two, performance planning. Three, performance educations. Four, performance assessment. Five, performance review. Six, performance renewal. The explanation about the steps will be continued by Aisha. Thank you. Hello, my name is Siti Aisha Binti Zaini, and today I will present and explain about the process management in IKEA. So, the first one is prerequisite. Before that, we will look at into the vision, business idea and missions. So the vision in IKEA is to create a better everyday life for many people. While the business idea is to support their visions with offering a wide range and well designed for a niche home um, so that many people can afford it with a low price. And the second, the third one, sorry, is the missions of the IKEA. Unfortunately, there is no specific mission statements of IKEA, but however, it's a link your vision to their business aspiration. So, it is fair to assume that this was as IKEA missions. And second one, we will look at into uh, still at the same perspective and process which is progressive. We will look at into the job analysis. We have cultural multiplicity and choose the right person for the right job. Cultural multiplicity is one of the concerns of IKEA in terms of recruitment policy. And IKEA will choose the right persons or future employee for the right job. Recruitment will of the IKEA will choose the right employee who share the same value of the company and therefore in a good shape with the organization culture. Next, the second um, process is performance planning. IKEA practically quality on their employees such as strong desire to learn to look for many personnel and second one is motivation to continually do things better. Third one is simplicity and common sense and the fourth one is ability to lead which is consists of efficiency and consciousness. So we will look up into the job design in IKEA. So the job design is created to measure work and activities output. The parameter that IKEA includes in performance management is include technically, economy and behavioral uh, feasibility. Which the first one, technical feasibility, is referred to the ability of employee which can do job mentally and physically. And the second one is economic feasibility, which refer to the cost 
or output analysis of the job. And the third one is the inheritance certification of the job to the employee. While the development plan is IKEA has its own system of learning and training design for a specific job position. Uh, for example, for Kesher, they have their own uh, specific learning and training for Kesher, which they have to follow the speed and reach very good speed of scan. The third process is performance execution. For employee, commitment to achieve goals. Um, took care of the needs of the employee and be more productive and committed to their work. While coaching, IKEA held friendly meeting between manager and employee at least once a year so that they can know what they have to improve uh, when, the, when the meeting is occur. Uh, and the, sec the third one is communication. IKEA has a very smart communication process between the employee. As we can see, they have a very friendly environment in the IKEA. So, for the perspective of employer, line manager in IKEA play the important role in developing the strategy and assist the employee in case of any difficulty. So, as we can see, um, line manager will teach or train their employee to become a very good employees and friendly environments are required. So, um, the business environment of IKEA make use of the soft model of HRM or Human Resource Management and make effective initiative to keep employee motivated to achieve their goal. So, every month or every year, they will give a um, reward to the employees of the years in order to motivate them and to achieve the goals of the company. So the fourth process is performance assessment. Developmental center. Tool which enable IKEA management to assess strengths and weaknesses of their co-worker. IKEA managers play an important role in their development of strategy and assist employee in the events of any difficulty. The next process is performance review. IKEA is working on including performance evaluation in one-to-one -one discussion with co-worker and manager, which are already taking place every four to six weeks. For example, as a cashier, um, IKEA will ask the low performance uh, worker to have a one-to-one -one discussion and evaluate what they can improve time to time. And therefore, relative performance appraisal are performed using competency survey that provide an overall of the team performance and ability. The next one we have performance renewal. The management of IKEA will help their employees to choose appropriate procedure and training to achieve their organizational objectives. Humble. The manager and the co-worker is wearing the same uniform. We are sitting in the same office, we have the same co-worker restaurant, and now the incentive is the same. On your name badge, there's no stated your level, your ranking. Togetherness and humbleness, because here we are almost uh, no gap between uh, each other. We work together as uh, together with sales, uh, with the designers, and also with the logistic. We all in a big family and we all together to make the thing happen. I like the simplicity and togetherness. Every single uh, process that you're talking, uh, doing, implementing, keep it short so that the recipient will be understand uh, more clearly. As a delicate responsibility, because I accept the responsibility from my managers, from my leaders, and also they trust me to delegate the responsible for me. What is a care human resource management practice? I conversion was to create a better everyday life for the many people. The people included employees, customers, as well as the community. The company's human resource philosophies subscribed to the belief that employees were more productive and committed with the company to care of them. Organizational culture. 
The first point is IKEA has practice, management behavior and activities that determine the culture of their organizations. For instance, the management embrace diversity within the workforce. And the second point is diversity is one of the cultural aspects that have led to the success of the organizations. In fact, being a large corporation, the diversity within the workforce cannot be avoided. And the third point is IKEA not only has a pool of loyal relationships between customers and their brain, but they also create cultural embeddedness to a strong human capital. The fourth point is the values and belief of the men behind IKEA's are embedded in the strong organizational culture and behavior which encourage creativity, innovations, entrepreneurship and hard work between all levels of employees. The effectiveness of performance management is by use of flexible working practices from both the employee and the employer perspective. The first point is the employee and employee relations both have been provided with the beneficial of flexible working patterns so that to maintain their effectiveness and performance for the longest periods. IKEA in this term will make use of the flexible working practice in various ways such as as a part-time working, job sharing, team working, work from home and others. And the second point is IKEA have in retaining the experience and knowledge able to employees for longer period of time and lead to the enhancements in the levels of productions for the business. With the help of this, IKEA will be able to establish higher levels of satisfaction among the employees and keep them motivated effectively. The third point is the flexible working practices have proved to be beneficial to IKEA in providing the employees with better work-life balance and adjust the working hours between personal and professional life. Flexibility in the work patterns of the employees have become a major concern for the organization as become pressures to facilitate the workforce. Recruitment and selection The first point is before a recruitment and selection process, it's important to know that IKEA appreciates customers and co-workers and IKEA communicate with them openly. IKEA do not want to hide anything and IKEA give equal change to anyone regardless of age, sex, origin, and religion. They believe that each and everyone has something unique to offer. And the second point is what kind of profile IKEA is looking for. IKEA has a positive team spirit. They have a diverse group of down-to-earth, straightforward people with a passion for home furnishings. Therefore, they are always looking for people who share our positive attitude and values, the spirit of togetherness and fun. The third point is at IKEA, there is a unique recruitment process. Step 1. Use the search engine to find the job that interests you and check the open positions. And step 2. Submit your cover letter and CVs containing any information you feel is relevant. And the third step is kick back and relax. IKEA will notify you when receive your application and keep you posted. They will come back to people within 30 days. The fourth point is how a selection process runs. The selection process usually consists of three runs. First of them is assessment center. Second one is a personal interview with a future manager. And the third one is a personal interview with a boss of this manager. Another important human resource procedure to ensure the effectiveness of performance management system is the engagement and retention of employee in the organization. A good management of this procedure can help to avoid costly employees to over and disengagement. Firstly, IKEA promotes work-life balance in a flexible workplace where safety always comes first. The employee's well-being is reflected by the high results they deliver as well as by their productivity. An above-average pay, a generous store bonus system that rewards employees' contribution to the success of a store as well as other benefits are part of IKEA's performance strategy. This is to keep employees satisfied and avoid any external comparison of IKEA's reward system with other organizations. Secondly, by promoting the concept of ownership, 
employees feel part of the business and are more responsible for their actions and their consequences. This inclusive management engage employees who are trying to build the company together and focus on the overall success of the company. Thirdly, engagement can be fostered through effective performance and talent management that is well linked with the strategic management of the organization. The main tool of performance management is performance appraisal as well as constructive feedback to employees. A 360-degree performance evaluation can include self-evaluation, evaluation from customers, subordinates, co-workers, as well as top management. This approach helps the employees to get a broader perspective of how they are perceived by others and allows the managers to see how employees impact others in order to identify any current problem. Moving to the last procedure is IKEA leadership style. The style of leadership plays a key role in increasing productivity and performance. The leadership style and management remove barriers that often employs. IKEA has a style that generates positive change and inspires staff to achieve the organization's objective. In order to achieve increased performance among employees, IKEA takes into consideration the concern of employees. The leadership style focuses on encouraging employees to achieve organizational goals. In fact, the leadership style aims to create positive change among employees. To summarize, the performance management system is a key factor that determines whether an organization can effectively manage its human resource and talents. As indicated, it is clear that IKEA has implemented an excellent performance management system which has made a significant contribution to its organization. It shows that IKEA's human resource management practice help build a strong nurturing culture, promote diversity and creativity activity and help sustain the development of the organization. We found that IKEA's flexible working methods have a positive impact on both employees and employers. Last but not least, management must manage the performance of employees so that they can meet the requirements and goals of the organization. That's all from us. Thank you for watching. Bye -bye.